So every year we look to feed 100 families for Thanksgiving and this year is no different. It's our third year doing it and every year we fail to feed 100 families. Instead, we wind up feeding hundreds upon hundreds of families and this year is no different. Let's take a look at what happened this year. Jeff's leaving the office and uh, headed to HEB. We're gonna find out uh, if they're gonna help us out this year. Let me turn this air AC down. So we're gonna find out if uh, HEB is gonna help us out this year and they help us out every year. And uh, so I'm excited. Let's go get some turkeys and uh, feed some people. family it is another day unfortunately HEB was unable to help us we didn't get to them early enough um, which is a bummer they normally help every year um, but we're here at the local Walmart and uh, the nice lady is trying to help us we have some beautiful turkeys here and I don't know if you can see it in the bins where are we here the phone makes it backwards there we go the bins here and they're all over the store um some wonderful honeysuckle turkeys and different oh that was close different types of turkeys so um let's see if we can make it happen i told them we need a hundred and they said okay we're gonna see if we can make it happen they've given me the non-exempt card so we don't have to pay taxes which allows us to buy more turkeys so uh keep your fingers crossed okay so here's the update there is a pallet of 200 plus turkeys, but they don't know if they're the sizes that we're looking for. We wanna make sure that we're giving away something that we'd want ourselves. And the nicest lady in the world, guys. I mean, just unbelievable. Her name is Raina and she is going to uh, go through all of the pallets at Walmart. Uh, I guess she's the department manager and pull out the ones that fit what we're looking for. God bless her. She's incredible. So she said, give her a call in two hours and we'll know what we have and what we still need for the event that's going on tonight. Takes a lot of hands. So God bless you guys for uh, staying tuned and let's see what happens. What's going on, 100 families? Listen, I'm here right at the Walmart with the amazing Miss Raina and the amazing Miss Crystal. You might have heard me talking about Raina already. She has literally pulled out a bunch of turkeys for us. We're about to load up the truck. And Miss Crystal's been awesome. She helped us do the tax exempt form. So a big thank you to Walmart and to the amazing Crystal and Raina for all they've done. You want to say anything, Miss Crystal? Yeah, have a good Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving, Miss Raina. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and great house holidays. All right, happy holidays right here from Crystal Raina and all the amazing people at Walmart. God bless. See you in the next video. All right, here we go. Load it up. If you ever wanted to know what pallets and pallets of turkeys look like, this is the first pallet. We have some already at the church. So now you get to uh, see me drive and unload everything at Expanse. Hopefully not by myself, but possibly by myself. We are here. 
Spans Bible Church. There's no sign up there. Should we put a sign up there? I don't know. But we're here. Our little slice of heaven. Truck bed full of turkeys. Let's get these puppies unloaded. Here we go. I was smart. I brought some chairs back, prop the door open. Make this a little, a little easier. Moving these really heavy turkeys. That's all for this truckload. There were some already inside and then there's some more coming tonight. That was a job. <laughs> Those things are heavy. All right, well, I'll see y'all inside. So this is normally where we would end the video. This is where everyone comes on a Thursday night to get the word, which is the reason we do the turkey giveaways. I'll admit it. We do it to get people that would normally not come to church in the church to tell them about Jesus. And then we give them a turkey so they can have a turkey for their family for Thanksgiving because everyone should have a turkey for Thanksgiving. It's part of tradition. It makes families happy. It brings them together. However, we had tons of people at the event, but we still had even more people who were in wheelchairs and were not able to make it. So this next video and these next clips are actually clips of me in neighborhoods that I probably shouldn't be in delivering turkeys to the sick and shut in. So not all of our people who needed a turkey can drive or have the ability to, to come out to the event. So we do deliveries. I just, I knock on the door. And so I have a turkey hit under there. Let me show you. Let me see it. There we go. So uh, hopefully they'll be happily surprised when they come home and uh, they have their turkey. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Okay, last turkey, not of the day, but period. And uh, so let's go drop off a turkey. And this one, of course, being the last turkey, uh, is gonna be possibly on the third floor. Third floor we go because, of course, the last delivery wouldn't be on the first floor. What sense would that make if they made the last delivery on the third floor? Why would that be, uh, why would that be good? And apparently all of the food we're gonna eat for Thanksgiving, I need the, uh, need the exercise. So, all right, three flights of stairs, holding a turkey, and there we go. Here we go. Standard procedure. Set the turkey down. Knock on the door. And uh, we're off. Okay, y'all probably can't even see me. I'm letting it got dark on me. It's been a long, long day. So I put it on the door. Is there a doorbell somewhere? I guess I'll just knock. And that's it. If it is a doorbell, I couldn't see it. One more turkey delivery. And uh, the turkey factory is over. Look how dark it is. That's just my headlights that you can see me right here. It is remarkably dark. Now, it looks brighter down here because my headlights are on. 
But look in this direction where my headlights aren't. It is just remarkably dark, y'all. Sketchy streets. All right, one more turkey to go. And you can't even see me. One more turkey to go and uh, headed to the house. All right, guys, like I said, it's been a long day, but we're at the last stop. But it's an apartment complex with houses. And if you've ever tried to find someone or a specific apartment in one of these apartment complexes where the numbering makes no sense, then you you understand my pain. So that's the second floor with threes on it. I told you it's weird. All right, here we go. 303. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop the last turkey off, ring the bell, and uh, call it a day. Okay, so 100 families is a massive success. As you can tell by the letters posted on the screen, a lot of people were very happy and a lot of families were very grateful. However, it is not over. 100 Families was the Thursday before Thanksgiving this year. And now the Sunday before Thanksgiving, we have one more event. We have partnered with the community to do something incredible, and that's to feed another 250 to 350 people. Check it out. So what you are seeing took a massive amount of organization. We had to get permits to shut down the block. We got Mr. and Mrs. Claus all the way from the North Pole for the children and they took pictures with the children. It took the community coming together, Bear County Sheriff's Office, it took Cuba 1918, the VFW, the American Legion, some politicians. We thank them for being there. They came and they helped out. They made the road closures possible. The police came out, the Sheriff's Office came out, the community, came out. People donated drinks, people donated tables, people brought in chairs, sound systems, speakers, and we even got the kiddos of EBC to give us a song. <laughs> this year, God has done big things, and we praise him for it, and we thank all of you who made this possible. A big round of applause. So adorable. Because he's a good, good father. And she said, Okay, wait one moment. 100 families was one week before Thanksgiving. The block party where we fed 250 to 350 people was the Sunday before Thanksgiving. And then the day before Thanksgiving, my son, Joshua Levitt Griffin, was born two days early. We got to spend Thanksgiving in the hospital celebrating his birth. This has definitely been a Thanksgiving season for the books. Okay, I'm not dancing, but I want to give some thanks to Now Word Covenant Church and the Honorable Pastor Keith Graham and Pastor Rob Wallace. I want to thank all of the great people at Long Star Bank, Maria, Marisol, Lisa Moschel, Tambra Gold, Claudia Hernandez, Christy, Amber, Victor, Bill McCandless, Jesse Baza. Hopefully I didn't forget anybody. God bless Walmart and Rainy and Crystal. Thanks for all the help. Thanks for Eagles Fight Advocacy and Pamela Allen, American Legion Hall, 2628, VFW 8397, Durham, York, Southside First, Keep South San Antonio Proud, and Angie Oferta, Trap House in Cuba 1918, my good buddy Ramundo Rodriguez, and of course, all of the followers. Volunteers, amazing volunteers at EBC. I love you. God bless you. And let's do it even bigger next year.